There's a big movie between us that it bonded us a lot in the late 90s. Don't worry, this is going to be serious. Rounders. I watched yeah. Rounders recently, Dan. I'm not mm -hmm. sure that Rounders holds up. Go. Um, a couple, <laughs> there's a couple reasons that Rounders is unassailable. One is Gretchen Mall at that point in her life. Uh, but beyond that, the drama and the quality of the filmmaking, I mean, it holds a special place for me because someone I'm, I'm intermittently close to is, is, is actually worked on the film, a woman named Pam Hirsch, which I didn't know until 20 years of being a fan of the movie, but that raised its stock with me. Gotcha, gotcha. And then I'm curious what else about it you think doesn't hold up. I just still think it's a fantastic film. Probably haven't watched it this year. I wanted to come out of the movie feeling like the way I felt when we watched it back then, just like that feeling. And I kind of felt that it just sort of, it just rang a little different. And I, I, I guess that goes to like a bigger question for you. I know that you watch and you rewatch movies a lot, you know, here and there when you have time. Yeah, there's, some, there's, some, easy, there's some movies I've easily seen 50 times. So my question for you is, is there something that you've seen recently where maybe you had like, I, I still love Rounders. I still feel that I have a very close relationship to it. Is there something mm -hmm. that you saw recently that you had a similar experience where you were like, huh, okay, didn't feel the same? Um, no, there's, well, I, this isn't really an answer to your question. It's, a, it's what your question made me think of. I loved Ford versus Ferrari in the theater and couldn't figure out why. You know, and it came out, you know, not in a completely different time than 1917. And, you know, uh, I forget what that psychoanalytical borderline horror flick was that seemed to make a really strong analytical statement. You know, it, um, it follows. No, Hereditary. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like a lot of interesting filmmaking was going on, but my favorite movie last year was Ford versus Ferrari. And I've watched it a few times since then, and I still can't figure out why it's my favorite movie from last year. It just, it, it resonates with me emotionally. Well, you know what's funny? Like, one of my favorite movies of all time suffers from all of us are, all of us are pounded on by media now that's created during the digital age, and during an age of immediate gratification and what they used to call like MTV type pacing and quick cutting and everything else, right? Right. Man, watching The Godfather now is watching is like watching a twelve hour skin surgery. Come on, it's a huge part of my personal culture, but it moves at shall we say its own pace. Right, you know? right. Well, it's interesting that you say that because there was a time when there was like I I want to say four ver no not not four there was two versions of Exorcist four made there was the, the Paul Schrader version and then there was okay. the Rennie and then and then the studio saw that hated it that's and they not, got that's Rennie not, Harlan that's not, that's not the final con oh wait I'm thinking of the old never mind go ahead yeah. well what ended up happening is they got Rennie Harlan back in and, and to take it over after after Schrader and one of the things that Rennie Harlan said was he was talking about the original Exorcist. And to me, the original Exorcist is unassailable. But he says, he's all, the language of film has changed. And you just made me think about potentially what's the evolutionary leap that, that, that we can look at, that we would look at now, especially like, like you said, after being pounded in the digital age with, with videos that are like seconds long, what 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 is the effect on film just because i understand what you're saying about the godfather it really it's it's of a different time in a its film 70s film in particular it invests so much more time in character development and also just seems to invest so much more in nuanced dialogue right right it it, it reads funny against you know now 